welcome or welcome back to my channel today we're going to be unboxing my neokio package i actually already opened it up because i wanted to remove my id on each individual item so we'll do this first um if you don't know what neokio is neokio is a proxy website where you can buy from japanese sellers and it just makes it a lot easier for you if you don't have a japanese address I'll insert a clip of me showing how to use Neokyo and we'll get started with unboxing after. Okay, so I decided to just make a video instead of just me talking about it on like where you can just see my hand, but I'm gonna demonstrate how to use Neokyo to buy something from Mercari Japan, which is really the only reason I use Neokyo is for Mercari Japan. But anyway, let's get started. So there's this set on Mercari Japan for 1,000 yen, which is roughly $10. And there's four cards, which is a really good deal, actually, because an ode cards usually go for like 4 or $5. What we're going to do is go to Neokyo and create a buy request. So you're going to be taken to this page, and what you're going to do is get the link to your Mercari order, and then copy and paste that, as well as the title of the listing. And then the unit price for this is 1,000 yen. And because I want the whole set, I don't have to add anything to the item option because Neokyo is no longer, right now at least, accepting frill requests and partial set requests. So like if you just wanted the green back and not the white back you can't do that anymore and after you fill out your buy request you just send it in it's going to take a couple seconds to go through and once it does you will be taken to a page with your item summary so it's going to say awaiting validation um, once the purchase gets validated you will receive a bill, so it'll be your unit price, which is $9.45 plus $2.36 Neokyo fees. And then once you pay that, they're gonna pay the merchant. And then if that is successful, it'll go to awaiting delivery status. And then once it arrives to their warehouse, you can find it in this little section where it says item in storage. So you have 45 storage days to send your package out. Um, you don't have to pay any consolidation fees. So say I have this and I had that by request in and I wanna wait for that to come before I send out. I don't have to pay any extra costs for as long as I'm under 45 storage days. It's always better to buy in bulk at Neokyo and Mercari because shipping cost is kind of high if you just buy one card like why would you pay $25 for just one card you know and once all your items arrive and you're ready to send out you just hit this red button right here and you click pack and you wait for them to validate your packing requests and once they finish they will send you an invoice for your packing fees and your shipping fees and then you can pick what you which shipping option you want. Hopefully that video was helpful. I'm not really too sure how I could show the packing request and things like that because I don't have enough things to pack and I don't wanna really show my address out there. So I opened it, like I said, I opened it from the bottom. Um, we got a couple of goods. Some of them are actually not mine. Some of them are from a go, but this order is the reason why I've completed my Jonghan collection. Okay, I'll go through my cards first and then I'll go through the go cards. Okay, so the first thing here is a Jonghan photo card. This is his teenage rose quartz and serenity photo card 
So this was top priority for me to get and I'm so glad I finally have it. Yeah. So like I said, this entire haul is meant to complete my Johan collection. And then here we have his orange. Okay, this is kind of scary. We have his orange teenage card. Literally, that's what it's called, I guess. Okay, here it is. So it looks like this. This one was also my top priority card, which is kind of frustrating because I the amount of trouble I went through to get this card is insane. I had two canceled orders for this card because it was either bought before me or the seller canceled the order. Yeah, we're gonna move on anyway. So the next one is this Jonghan and Ode Hope card, the greenback. So if you didn't know, this is my favorite Jonghan photo card of all time. Let's see, how can I do this properly? I actually already have this card and I got it from a trade. I traded with someone in Europe and it kind of took a while to get to me. And then when it got to me, it was damaged. So I wanted to pick up a new one that was not damaged. How can I open this? Okay. So this is the card. Yeah, this looks 10 times better than the one that I traded for. I'm so happy I got a different one. But yeah, the other one I'm probably going to just put up for sale for like a really low price. Because an oat cards are already low priced anyway. Okay, and the next card is the last You Made My Dawn card that I needed. How am I going to open this? Okay, I'll just open it from the side because I'm scared to cut from the top. Okay, well, hopefully, or maybe not. Okay, huh. stupid. Okay, so I got his You Made My Dawn, Dawn version and the ribbon back card. I could, I could never find this on Instagram or on Twitter or Depop, so I figured I should just get it there. Yeah, and that completes my You Made My Dawn collection. And then the seller gave me a freebie card. So that's nice. And then the next thing, is that all that I got? Yeah, I think this one is my last Johan card. So the Johan card that I got is the last AL1 card that I needed to complete my AL1 collection. So I actually claimed this in a Go, but I wasn't sure if the Go manager was like legit, you know? So it looks like this. Oh, it's kind of damaged. I didn't even notice or I didn't know that. So I might just keep that anyway. So that's the Johan card and the seller gave me a cute little note. I don't read Japanese, so I wouldn't know what this says. But yeah, I might just keep that anyway. And then, actually, I'll go through the albums that I bought because there's not a lot of them. I bought 24 Hour, which is 17's latest Japanese release. And this one is the carrot version. So I have no intentions on collecting Japanese photo cards, but I really wanted this album. And this is the only like version that fits their other albums. Okay, what is this? Oh, it comes with a cute little note from the seller. Again, I don't speak or read Japanese, so I wouldn't know. And the reason I got this one specifically was because it came with Vernon's HMV card and it was a really good deal so I got that and that's the album pretty self-explanatory I'm gonna listen to that today I don't need the bag okay and then this one I believe is a falling flower set I don't know 
if I'm gonna start collecting Johan's Japanese cards because of their random comeback in October. So I just decided that I will pick up their older Japanese albums without the photo cards and then if I decide to collect Japanese cards then I will do that but for now all I want to do is finish my 17 album collection. Let's see. I forgot which versions I got so I'm not gonna go through it. Here's one album and I think this is the carrot version too so I got the carrot version for Falling Flower as well. And then this one is a version, I think. This might be the regular version. And then I have the B version. So those are the albums that I picked up. Maybe I can put that there. And then as for stuff in my Go account, I got a set of Joshua and Ode cards and then Mingyu. I believe this is a going 17 set next card that i got is of this japan dome tour performance unit photo card or trading card whatever you want to call it hmm. let's open it up to make sure like there's no damages oh that's a pretty thick card but here is what it looks like cute by the way this video is just gonna have like random cuts on it because my dog was being really loud anyway and then here's the Mingyu set Ooh, this is packaged really weird okay it looks like this. I'm very happy that it's well protected though. Because these are not mine and I would not want them to come to me damaged. Okay. So I got, these are his going 17 cards. Yeah, Mingyu's going 17 cards. There's another one. And then there's two of the same card. I'll just put them together. And then we have this HMV card. And then this bookmark from Love and Letter. Okay, cool. And then last thing are these Joshua or assorted Joshua and Ode photo cards it's not the complete set there's 10 of them i believe so there's this one from the real version and then we have this card from again the real version and this card is from which version oh the poet okay and then this one's from the hope version i think yeah it's the beret that gave it away here you go I think the Hope version, okay, it doesn't have the in front of it, but I'm just saying the Hope. But this one was almost a completed set. And this one is Begin. And this one is his Begin card again. And I think this is the Poet. Yeah. And then last one is his Truth card. Okay, so that is it for my mercari japan order okay and for the johan photo cards and birthday goods that i got i received this set actually really like this photo card the most and the back are so cute and then i did get a cup sleeve as well i did get like a whole set and then they gave you a small picket I would say it's a clear picket and it's pretty flimsy but it's cute and then lastly it came with his birthday banner it's paper but it's pretty
pretty cute. I would say, and these birthday goods were from uh, 17MC Diamond on Twitter. That's it for my small Mercari Japan haul. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and bye.